Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Monday's trading session, the 25th of June 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers that they uh, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com. Okay, in terms of the market uh, update, then uh, basically European markets certainly going to a swoon once again. It certainly seems like the ugly head of uh, trade protectionism. Uh, trade barriers, trade concerns certainly seem to keep rearing its head. Although it did rear its head last week, but the markets chose to ignore. On this occasion, markets certainly have uh, chose to focus on that. Now, Asian markets certainly under pressure as well. Even though we did have a Chinese rate high, rate cut over the weekend, that failed to um, certainly help sentiment. Uh, and the market certainly seems to be going into a swoon once again. Also, last week's OPEC-led potential um, uh, agreement uh, with it reducing lo basically lower barrels than expected. I think the expectation was around 1 million extra barrels, and I think in the end it was only half a million, so half the expectations. But Iranian concerns certainly seem to be uh, uh, coming out at present, although there was an agreement with Iran, but Iran apparently has accused Russia of uh, of stabbing it in the back, so that certainly isn't a good set of, uh, obviously a good set of news. Now, either way, oil prices at the moment, let's just quickly give you an insight here in terms of oil, still have stabilised. Uh, let's just bring up oil here for you folks. Okay, Brent, here we go. Uh, so Brent crude at the moment, okay, so looking at a 60 minute chart, you can see, you can see here, certainly stabilized, 4 hour chart gives you more of a better insight, you can see here we've put in double bottom every post crude, so certainly from my perspective it certainly should be uh, perceived as bullish now, especially after having put in our potential double bottom now, trade war concerns is the uh, key issue, that's the theme at the moment that this market is focused on, let's see how it basically responds. Okay, that certainly remains the status quo. In terms of economic news today, then, uh, German uh, data did come in slightly weaker than expected. IFO expectations for July slightly higher. Current assessment certainly weaker. And IFO business climate certainly coming in slightly uh, slightly stronger. So overall, more or less neutral from that perspective. Immigration concerns obviously are still in the background with regards to Miss Merkel, but there has been news with regards to her reaching some sort of agreement there with Europe with her European peers. So let's see how that certainly plays out. German conservatives, Crump crime says... These intense concessions will continue within the EU in coming days, uh, and US auto tariffs will be largely credit negative for global auto industry, so that certainly seems to be vain. Chairman say CDU lead agreed to control and limit migration to Europe to avoid repeat of 2015. So it certainly seems some sort of agreement is coming there, and therefore, obviously, that's positive for the uh, equity markets. In terms of German DAX, let's just quickly go through to the daily chart. You can see we are coming into that gap fill support zone, horizontal support here. We've bounced from this level before, pivot low, obviously, before 12310. 12400 certainly po positive support now mr draghi certainly was on the dovey side uh, euro has to actually rallied uh, so again bear that in mind euro rallying certainly is weighing on the uh, european indices as well uh, the dollar itself certainly has started to weaken and therefore helping euro usd so you can see here euro usd certainly bouncing and holding that support at 1.1560 now the nevertheless uh, from 1.25 it certainly has obviously uh, come a long way and therefore is stimulatory to a large extent especially if mr Draghi remains uh, and maintains his dovish stance okay so moving on to the 60 minute chart here uh, the german dax as you can see here continue to make lower lows uh, let's see if it's a row for falling contracting wedge pattern can start to reverse 10 minute chart we do have an unfilled gap above at 12580 okay watch out for that gap 10 minute chart certainly is making a base around this 12385 zone so watch out there as well so from my perspective certainly looking for a bounce in european indices which in turn should help obviously the FTSE uh, as well you can see this bearish channel here looking to potentially short squeeze higher so watch out there okay in terms of the french cac let's look at the french cac now as well uh, french cac certainly uh, selling off quite considerably this morning uh, again on the back of trade war concerns yeah uh, let's see if we can uh, continue to uh, push higher now obviously uh, it hasn't made a lower low so the french cac certainly is bullish out of the two so bear that in mind, German DAX obviously uh, weighed down by immigration concerns. Now we do have an unfilled gap above at 5.380. We failed to close that gap at 5.320, which is a bullish sign, and therefore looking to potentially thrust higher, especially if immigration concerns can be alleviated. Last but not least, quickly give you an insight into European Euro stocks. Euro stocks certainly has closed the gap here at 3.400. Uh, again, looking for a bounce now up to 3440 above. So looking for double bottom and obviously looking for that gap to be closed. Looking at a 60-minute chart here, horizontal support plenty. Okay, so again, watch out for a potential bounce in European indices. In terms of the FTSE 100, now FTSE really has continued to baffle me, especially with its thrust higher on Friday in the back of OPEC and obviously it's given back all those gains. Certainly very, very surprising. I mean, it gave back 38, 50, 61, even 75% now. So... FTSE really is considering c c continues to baffle me in terms of its move. I mean, you can only trade the FTSE now with almost a 100-point stop if it, 
if that I mean uh, probably even more so either way it certainly seems to be oscillating uh, quite violently at the moment uh, Friday's bullish engulfing candle certainly being threatened as well now so let's see how that plays out 60 minute chart if it fails to hold this key support here on 7565 and 7550 then certainly uh, the bulls uh, have certainly lost uh, all potential uh, uh, strengthening power there you can see here gap fill certainly being closed now on that 7555 so again you got the unfilled gap above that 768 you know this index is, is is moving almost 100 points either side so how do you how do you trade this okay how do you trade this it certainly is quite tough at the moment uh, 25 30 point stop certainly will be eaten away before it reverses in the intended direction either way you just have to react as traders you have to certainly react i've increased my stop loss to 40 points to give me a higher probability of success there let's see if that certainly plays out either way that's the status quo european indices from my perspective certainly are in a potential position to move higher uh, FTSE certainly is oversold now certainly needs to start to retrace uh, the um, uh, the actual movement goes over to your to the uh, u.s market now let's see how the u.s markets react to mr trump's uh, daily uh, commentary of uh, stupidity Let's see how the market reacts there in terms of trade protectionism and so on and so forth. Okay, that's the theme at the moment. Let's see how the market reacts. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signal the market updates from leading providers, and download that latest app. Goodbye now.